With the media process now complete, and very impressively I may add, we're now ready to delve into the video editor, and we're going to do a walkthrough of the interface. And taking a top-down approach, you have the menu right at the top, then you have these four buttons which select a workspace, and by default you're in the edit workspace. Now the edit workspace has three panels, you have the project content and task panel, then you have the previewer panel, and finally, you have the product space panel. Now, I will say these naming conventions that I'm using are mine because I'm going through about 17 different editors and I personally needed a consistent naming convention as I was going through all those editors. So focusing on the product space, we're in timeline mode. Each track in this mode are media specific. So you have a video track, an audio track, a special effects or a narrative. But if you pick the story plot mode, you get thumbnails representing each clip that's in that story plot. And that completes everything to do with the product space. Now let's move to the more busy project content and task. And as I said, you by default are in the project space. You can filter what uh, assets you have in your project by the movie clips or audio or images. And you can actually increase the thumbnail size, which is nice. Now the tasks that you can also perform are here. Each task may give you some sort of options which will always present themselves here and then you're given the asset. So this is a very nice intuitive workflow. I do like it. It's very strong. Let's now move to the produce workspace and here you have four targets you can go to. You've got the file, 3D, devices or online. Nothing um, different from many of the other editors. So it's very nice and it's quite feature rich. Then we have the Create Disk workspace for those people who still want to make MPEG-2 based DVDs or Blu-rays and things like that. And finally we have the Capture workspace. Now if you have any device that is compatible with this interface or this application, you could capture it and download it and place it into your project. Or even the screen or if you want to create your own narratives, you would use this workspace. Assessing this um, workspace from Cyberlink, I think they've done a very good job. It can only be given three stars because it's not tested in anger. But I say it all in these pictures. To me, it's got the potential of being a well-balanced, best-in-class video editor.